Hi, welcome to Berlin City Honda. I'm Mike McPherson. Today we're going to talk to Scott Croto, lead sales associate whose specialty is leasing. And Scott's going to tell us some things that you should consider when leasing or looking at leasing and the advantages. Hi, Scott. Hi, Mike. So tell me, I'm a new customer, never leased a car before, but it's an option that I should consider. What are the things that I should be looking for? One of the first things I suggest to all uh, potential customers is to look at a third-party uh, resource, and that would be Kiplinger.com. And uh, you can just go into their website. They're actually a financial uh, magazine, and they'll actually give you the benefits of buying versus leasing. And the majority of leases that I do, it's primarily to get a lower monthly payment. You can get it sometimes in a lease. It can be anywhere from fifty to one hundred dollars less a month in a payment. So, what are some of the questions that a consumer would have? Like, what about miles? The only time, at least with Honda, and you need to check with every manufacturer because every manufacturer has their own set of rules. But with Honda, the only time that you pay a mileage overage is if you just turn the vehicle in. If you're buying the car out, trading it, or selling it. That really doesn't have an impact upon any fees that you may pay in excess of mileage. Some people say, well, don't own the car. You actually do. Uh, it's, it's really no different than a loan. When you have a loan, the bank holds the title. The only difference with this is that the manufacturer holds the title. You're still responsible to do all of the maintenance that's required. It's still your vehicle. The only difference is you're having it for a short amount of time a longer time. So when you finance a car, the bank's involved. When you lease a car, the manufacturer, in this case Honda, is involved. Correct. That's the only difference. Correct. Awesome. So what happens when I get to the end of my lease and I'm going to you know, decide what I'm going to do with the car? Now you have options. You can turn it in and buy it for whatever was on the lease contract, which they call residual value? Yes, that's one of the, the advantages to having a lease, is you have a predetermined value that you can purchase that car at the end of the lease. It's really a great way to get a good quality pre-owned vehicle at a set price, because we all know how volatile the market can be with pre-owned vehicles. So I have a three-year lease that I'm taking possession of the vehicle today. I'm signing the paperwork. So in that paperwork, it's going to tell me what that car is going to be worth, which I can buy it for three years from now. Absolutely. So I turn the car in, a shopping cart from Walmart, branding to the side of it, and there's a scratch or a dent on the side of it. What happens then? Well, they, they build in uh, instances. They, they expect that the car is going to have some dents and scratches and things of that nature. Uh, they have to be minimal. They can't be, you know, deep or they can't be extremely long. You can protect yourself, though, in a lease with what they call a lease wear and tear. And that would cover tires uh, and dents, scratches, things of that nature. So it's, there's a way to protect yourself against that. What happens if I took out a, uh, a three-year lease, 12,000 miles per year, means 36,000 miles over the course of a three-year period, 40,000 miles at the point of turn-in of the car, what happens? Again, if you're buying the car out, trading in or selling it, doesn't matter. The only time you pay the penalty from the overage is about a hobby, you should get another one. That's back <laughs> right. What other things might I want to consider before I look at a lease? Well, again, the thought is, is how are you going to utilize a vehicle. Are you the type of person that enjoys having a new car every two to three years? If you are, that's really one of the benefits of leasing because you build equity faster in the car. And usually about two to three years, that's when a lot of people are ready to get a new car. Uh, you know, if, if you're that type of person, it helps you in, in, a, in a financial situation as far as with equity. It also allows you, if you have a lifestyle change, for example, if you have a family that's a bunch of teenagers and, and now they're going off to college and you no longer need that Honda Pilot or even a Honda Odyssey, you may, at the end of that lease, you can now turn that in and step down. Go into a court or maybe even a fit. Correct. Or a Civic. 
from? Well, if you're looking for a lease, Berlin City Honda is a great place to start. Give us a call at 1-800-414-1429 and ask for Scott Crodo.